Hey everyone, welcome to Pet Talks. My name is Emily and I'm here to show you all about Nina's cage here. Okay, so here's Nina's cage. She's living in the Midwest double unit Critter Nation. This is my personal favorite. Uh, you can also get the Midwest Ferret Nation. The only differences between those two cages are the bars. So the Critter Nation has smaller bar spacing and horizontal bars, whereas the Ferret Nation has vertical bars and they are wider bar spacing. And they're also stronger, thicker bars. So if you're looking for something that has a little more longevity, I'd recommend the Ferret Nation. I got the Critter Nation because I just found it's easier to mount the ledges and other accessories on these bars, but that might just be a me thing. You can try both and see which one you like best. So we'll go ahead inside. There's Miss Nina. Hi, sweetheart. She's like, leave me alone. This is my sleeping hour. So inside the cage, we did make some modifications uh, to how it was originally. The first thing we did was remove all the plastic. So there's plastic pans that come with this cage, and those are good for other animals, but not for chinchillas. Chinchillas are very heavy chewers, and if they get little bits of plastic ingested in their little bodies, I wouldn't want to know the outcome of that. So just avoid plastic. These trays are excellent. I got them from Flower Town Chinchillas. They're metal, uh, custom built to fit these cages. And I got the ones, they come in different sizes, but I got the ones with the highest sides because I wanted to avoid poops flying all over the place. You'll find that happening a lot. Like you can't really do much to avoid it completely, but this does help. Uh, for bedding, I went with fleece liners. That's just my favorite. You can also do wood shavings throughout. The only thing I don't recommend using is paper bedding. Paper bedding, again, like great for other small animals, but not for chinchillas. I find uh, they will eat it and they won't be able to pass it through their bodies and there will be a blockage. So just don't get paper bedding. It's expensive anyways. Go with fleece liners. They're super cute, easy to use, easy to clean, and you can get a whole bunch. So you can just swap them out every two to three days uh, to avoid uh, them getting too soiled with urine. So I do also want to mention that if you do go with the wood shavings, just do not get cedar. You can get kiln dried pine or you can get aspen shavings, but cedar is toxic to chinchillas. So no cedar shavings. The only spot I do use shavings is on her lower level. So the reason I put this pie plate in with the shavings is because I found this was like her favorite little pea spot. So I decided to add that and it's great. She mostly goes pee in that spot. Not always, but mostly. So I just have to clean that out rather than a whole tray full of shavings on top and bottom uh, floors of her cage. So moving on to the ledges. These ledges are a little past due for being replaced. So apologies, they shouldn't look like this. They're a bit stained from her peeing on them. A lot of chinchillas will do that and it, it sucks. So I wipe them off every day with vinegar, like a half vinegar, half warm water solution. And that disinfects them for the most part. But once they get like really soiled, like you'll see here, you wanna take them out and sand them down. It's really easy, just use a, a sand block or use an orbital uh, sander. Doesn't take very long and then they look pretty fresh and new. After doing this a few times, you're gonna find it's time to just make new ones or order new ones. Uh, these ones are mostly homemade by uh, my boyfriend. He is very handy that way, but if you don't have someone like that or if you're not handy yourself, uh, there's so many places you can order them. We actually have an Etsy shop and I'll link it below. Uh, not super expensive. She loves her tunnels. The fleece one is like her cozy spot. Uh, this metal one is another favorite. It keeps her nice and cool. She absolutely loves that one. Unfortunately, they don't sell it anymore. I got it off a shop on Etsy. I don't think they're even on, in operation anymore. But this cozy cube, you can definitely get your hands on one of these. I'll link it below. 
I actually purchased it for the guinea pigs that stay with us because we board small animals here. And I decided to try it in Nina's cage and she just loved it. I can find her sleeping in there all the time. It's so cute. And then if I move down here, this one is not one that she sleeps in, but I, I do think it's good to have a chewable tidy house like this. Like she will just spend plenty of time sitting there chewing away, which brings me to my next important point. Chinchillas need things to chew on. They need chew toys. They need to wear down those teeth that never stop growing. So we have lots of things in here which need to be replaced, I would say. Like, there's some old stuff. These ones are fairly new. I get most of my toys and chews from Zoe and Lilo's toy box. That's where nearly all of them are from. Some of them are Oxbow. Not every Oxbow toy that is in pet stores is safe. You want to stick to things like applewood sticks. Down here, Nina has her chin chiller. You want to add one of those. You don't have to get a chin chiller. You can get just a tile from the hardware store. Some place where they can just chill out and cool off. Because chinchillas cannot overheat. If they overheat, they can die very quickly. So you want to avoid putting their cage near a vent, uh, near a window with direct sunlight. None of that. But normally I have just a piece of fleece on top so that she feels a little safer. And you'll notice her cage is against two walls so that she just feels a little more protected. Okay, moving on to exercise. So these cages are great for that. There's lots of vertical space. As long as you put lots of ledges and things for them to hop from one spot to the next, they're going to have a blast. Uh, but what you can add as an addition to that is a wheel. Now this is the Quality Cage Crafters Chin Spin. This is an extremely expensive thing to buy, especially if you live here in Canada where we do. You have to pay duties and shipping and, you know, conversion to Canadian dollar. It's, it sucks, but it is a great wheel and I don't regret buying it one bit because she loves it. She's on it all the time and I don't know what her life would be like without it. So definitely get your hands on one of these if you can. I know there's one other one on Etsy. It's a silver surfer. Uh, but the price difference is not huge, so I just thought, why not spend a little bit more and get the one that comes so highly recommended. You want a wheel that is going to be strong, made of materials that aren't going to absorb uh, urine and feces and anything like that. You want something that you can clean, that's going to last you, and it has to be big enough. If you get one that's too small, they can injure their backs. You just, you have to get, if you're going to get one, you have to get the best one or just don't get one at all. Okay, so the only other things in here that I could point out are these lava ledges. Lava ledges are great. They usually don't last very long. They chew them to bits, but they do love them and they are safe. So you can get those. I know Amazon sells them and other stores will have them. Pet value. I've seen them there often enough. For their water bottle, you want to go with a glass water bottle, not a plastic one. They will find a way to chew the plastic one, and this one is so easy to clean. Glass is much easier to clean than plastic. This one is by Lixit. Uh, they do sell them on Amazon. I'll link it below along with everything else. Uh, this is a mounted uh, stainless steel food bowl, and I find that works well. And for her hay, um, I've been doing this for a long time. I just got this little ceramic dish from Dollarama and shove a bunch of fresh hay in there every day for her. And away you go. I was hoping to get a little bit more footage of sleepy pants, but this again is not the time of day for it. <laughs> I love how her fleece tunnel is just totally coated and hair, and I just changed it this morning. Oh, Nina, you're so cute. All right, I think that covers all of the things in Nina's cage. There are just a couple of other little things, like this is a snuffle ball. It's totally made of fleece, completely safe. She really doesn't touch it, so I'm not gonna recommend getting one. Uh, it's from Pet Value. Super cute, just she doesn't bother with it. 
this is just a little pumice star thing. It's made out of the same material as the lava ledges. So just a little chew for her to play with. Uh, this is a pillow. It is nice to get your chinchilla something like that, like a cuddle buddy, which they have on Etsy, or just a little pillow so they can snuggle up to them when they're sleeping. That may sound silly and ridiculous, but I've seen it happen. She does it, so it's worth getting one. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it. I'm going to leave this video now. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there will be more videos to come with more in-depth uh, information on chinchilla care. And also I wanna do a video on cleaning. So that's coming next. Thanks so much for watching.